Hello guys and welcome, I'm SimUK. This is Hex, a bank hacking game that's really a puzzler and challenger. Brilliant co-op mission, but if you haven't watched the first episode, I have unlocked the custom mission editor. Now what this does is allow you to set your time limit, pick the nodes that you're going to be challenging yourself with, uh, pick the number of errors that you can have, change the currency, and set the number of funds. So apparently you can have that many. Which is pretty cool. So um, what I'm going to do is basically take you through and give you tutorial tips so that you can fully understand how each of these nodes works and then you can figure out how to complete them yourself. So I'm going to start, I guess, let's start at the beginning. Keylogger, uh, Ghost, Force, and Injection. I think these are the early ones. That you're most likely to see so let's try that let's try these first so i've given myself 12 minutes and four uh errors so i'm not even trying to get money out of the bank in this particular tutorial i'm just going to try and teach you how these work i may have to go slightly quickly because 12 minutes is only three minutes for each one and i do want to try and complete them so that you can see it done but you know typing errors mistakes whatever there are chances that i will fail but i will tell you how to complete each one let's hack solo start so you get a code 5824 we're in the control view you press tab you go over to the hacker view you need to enter 5824 in here 5824 that unlocks the hacker view these are all nodes this is the money vault you need to unlock these four before you can get access to this and the four lights up the top here these are how many mistakes you're allowed to make sometimes there's four three two one or even zero so things do get pretty challenging First thing we need to do is type list. This will show you all of the control options. Install apps allows you to in install the apps that are required for you to use the hacker tools. Now control and hacker can't see the same things. So when you're in co-op mo mode, you need to communicate between the two of you in order to solve the puzzles. Nodes will give you a list of the nodes that you're going to hack, or we can just press tab in this case, because we're playing single player. And you can see injection, ghost, keylogger, and force. Unlock is the first thing you need to do. Run starts the application. Trace route, I don't know what that does. That's totally new. I have no idea what that is yet. Start transfer, that's how you get into the bank and start taking money out. So let's begin. Let's install some apps. So we've got Force, Injection, Keylogger, and Ghost. Now you can click on all of these. It doesn't matter. It doesn't cost you anything at the moment. It doesn't take any longer to install. So you might as well just unlock them all, to be perfectly honest with you. Type in Nodes, and let's start with Keylogger. So you unlock... Key logger. Then you run key logger. Now you see nothing pops up this end because the hacker has to click here and this is his screen and then you'll get access to this screen. Click on log and you'll get some blue letters. The blue letters, one of the blue letters will be represented over here. So you need to communicate. So you would say Tango Sierra 4 uh, Quebec. And then you look here Tango Sierra 4 Quebec. There we go. And when it comes up, you don't press tab, you press space. So I did that wrong. So Quebec, there we go. Alpha Uniform uh, Yankee 8. Was it Alpha? Alpha Uniform Yankee 8. As expected. Uh, and normally they spell out a word, but not always. Uh, Yankee 2 exclamation mark M. Mike. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing this for my own peace of mind. Three Sierra Mike. Three Sierra Mike. Zulu Echo T. I think it's going to be T, but we'll see. It is T. So you press spacebar and it goes in. Now you have to do them in order. You can't do them in any order you like. It has to be first, second, third, fourth, fifth. If you get any of them wrong, you failed. Simple as that. Let's go and force. Unlock. Force. That unlocks it this end, so the hacker can click on it now, and he'll type in a word. House. That may have been typed incorrectly. We'll run the app our side, so run force, and then we get this screen. So let's do that again. House. You see it pops up here. Probability 17%. You calculate. It gives you a, a long list of things, of words that it could be. So let's try orange. Orange has got a 50% chance. So it's either going to be donate or Monday. Let's go Monday. There we go, we're in. That's how that works. Pretty straightforward. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's unlock Ghost. 
Let's run Ghost. Now, this is all about radio audio files. This is quite a bit more complicated. This is the hacker view. We've got four lights here. One, two, four, and five. Three is not lit. So you need to convey that to the uh, control panel. They'll map it here. Then they get a radio range for you to search in. So if you go 10.05 and 7.5 over here and turn it on, you start listening. Alpha. Alpha. So you type in alpha here. On the hacker side, the lights will change. So now you need to convey that. So it's just three lights. That changes the range. So six and a half thousand, nine thousand five hundred. Yeah. I think that was Delta. Again, the lights change. Convey that to your to your teammate, as it were. Oh, uh, fifteen hundred, four fifty. If you don't do that, you won't hear the right uh, the right code. India. India. Thank you. That was aw awfully useful. Uh, so just the middle one, two and a half, five and a half. Asker, adios, adios, amigo. Okay, um, three thousand, six thousand. Uh, yeah. Sierra, 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 Sierra. So now you click submit, and tell your hacker friend that lights one and two are lit. Now, as you go up in difficulty, there'll be more lights and more complications. So you put one and two on to match what you've got here. Hit transmit and then hit receive. And we're in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, said Sim, freaking out like a good one. What have we left ourselves with? Injection. Okay, so unlock injection. Now, this one's the most obvious of all. Run injection. I failed this a couple of times purely because I'm a moron. No, basically... I just made some mistakes. And it's easy to make mistakes when you've got a time limit against you. So just bear that in mind. All right, this is going to have to go that way, that way, that way, that way. So you've got to get green and blue fully hooked up, but everything has to be hooked up. I think I've tried it before where I left one piece out. That didn't seem to work. So you've got to hook the whole thing up. So let's try and do that. Now remember, when you're playing in co-op mode, you can only see one side of the screen. You cannot see both sides of the screen, so you're going to have to ask for the bits that you need. Quite simply, that was the wrong bit. Okay. So already, we're doing pretty good. And I can just lock this off up here. And then we can go straight, straight, I think a hook. No, it's going to have to be a T. So that's all hooked up, that's all hooked up. I think everything is connected now. Inject, success. There we go. That's how that's done. Bear in mind I'm playing in single player right now. When you're playing in cart mode, you can only see one of these two screens. You can't switch between them. This is the bank. To start access to the bank, you click Start Transfer. Now, you can see there's a lot of money in here. This is our limit. And if I click on this side, oh my god, that isn't displayed properly. There's a bug I'm going to just pass over to the devs in a bit. But, fear not. So basically we can take as much money as we want because I put in such a huge number here. Now, these pipes can be turned on and off by clicking on these circular things. And these pipes, which are under control, will turn red. When they turn red, you need to tell the hacker. The hacker needs to turn off the pipe. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and do it. If you take more money than is allowed, you'll be found. If you take too long to shut down the pipes, you'll be caught. And if the pipes break, the money transfer is slower. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go. So I'm in control. I'm looking for these pipes to change colour as soon as they do. Oh my god, all three of them. I hate it when all three go red. They're back to blue, so I can open up the pipes again. And we can start the transfer again. Now, I didn't even see which ones went red. You'll notice that Control can't see the timer. So the hacker is kind of responsible for making sure you don't run out of time. The Control is there to make sure you don't go over the agreed limit, which is whatever that number is. And um, you have to work as a team. It's hard. And the way that the game is set up at the moment... You're more than likely going to end up playing with somebody you've never met before, which could make things a little tricky. Now, I've spoken to the devs about the idea of maybe selling two keys together uh, as a bundle for maybe a slightly better price. Hopefully, they are uh, going to be able to do that, because I think that would be great. If you could pick this up for like £12, £12.50, £13, I don't know how much. But uh, if you could pick it up, 
slightly better deal than just buying one key, then you can give one of the keys to your friend, and then you've instantly got the perfect co-op partner to help you go and rob some banks. Which is what we're doing right now. I think we've taken like a hundred thousand here. Let's let's stop that. So the hacker has to stop. The hacker starts the bank, uh, the money being taken out of the bank, and they stop it as well. And then you get a breakdown. 99,931,446,000 and 0,000 pence. I don't know how much money that is. That's more money than I know how to count to. That's a lot of money. So, uh, yes, we did incredibly well there. That's probably the most amount of money I've ever taken ever. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be reflected here. It is. So now, according to the world, I am by far the best hacker in Hex, which is great because it's also true. It's not true at all. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's um, these nodes. I can't remember what we've got. Keylogger, Injection, Ghost, and Force node. That should at least get you started. And then hopefully the new features will be coming in soon and you'll be able to practice and test this out yourself. But if you just get yourself through the career up to Hope Bank with just the uh, instructions that I've given you there, you should be able to do that. And then you can kind of figure out the rest yourself. Now, some of them are really tricky, so I'll probably do a couple more tutorials in the future. But hopefully this will at least get you up and running. So thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. Remember, hit the like button, leave me a comment below, tell me what you think about Hex, tell me how much money you have taken from the bank, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care of yourselves, goodbye for now.